three lions are back yes guys welcome back to another video on the channel and today this is the match day preview for Ireland versus England of course England are back of course we're back after the Euro final heartbreak against Spain on the 14th of July but we're back it's a new era Southgate thank you for the memories mate but the Lee Carsley era begins today against Ireland in Dublin and uh, yeah of course I just think the goal for now secure promotion back to League A in the Nations League but yeah make sure to smash the like subscribe and let's get into the video okay then so what is the form coming into today's game in Dublin so we'll start with England as we are the away side so we have a loss win draw win draw and a draw our last game was the Euro 2024 final defeat against Spain what well, a sad day. Um, for Ireland, they have a loss, win, loss, draw, draw and a loss. Their last game was a 3-0 defeat against Portugal. Okay then, so what's my score prediction for today's game against the Republic of Ireland in Dublin? Now obviously, it's been a very, very long time since we last played Ireland. I don't, I don't even know the last time we played them. I think it was ages ago. Um, but, but... But yeah, we're back playing them again. And obviously, Ireland, it's a new era for them. They've got a new manager. I, I think they've got some Icelandic manager. So obviously, it's a new era for them. Um, but for us, obviously, it's a new era. Like I said, Lee Carsley at the helm. Um, I, mean, he had, I mean, he had a very good record with the under-21s. I think he only lost three games with England's under-21s. So I've been looking at the style of play. You know, the under-21s had a lot of attacking players. I mean, some of them have been called up to the senior team. Obviously, Morgan Gibbs-White. Um, Angel Gomez, I mean, some of them were, were, were with Carthy before, Rico Lewis, Anthony Gordon was with him before, and by like by looking at the style of play, he, he is, he, he looks like he's an attacking manager, he wants to score goals, he likes attacking football, which I think is something this England team needs, because you look at the players we've got, it's a very attacking team, you know, obviously, I know, obviously, the players that obviously normally would be in the squad, you know, your Jude Bellinghams, your Phil Foden, your Cole Palmers, etc. And also in the squad at the moment, you've got Angel Gomez attacking, Eze, Gibbs, White, Gordon, Grealish, Kane, Saka. We are we are an attacking team. And I think the style of football league cards he likes to play will, will 100% work with this team, hopefully. Um... But yeah, obviously for Ireland, I mean, you know, I don't really know a lot about them. I mean, obviously, their form, you know, they've only won one out of the last six games. But they did beat Hungary, to be fair. And in all fairness, Hungary are a decent side. But on paper, you know, if we should be winning this. We should be winning our group, to be honest. We should be winning all the games. I mean, Ireland, we should beat them home and away. Finland, that's an easy win. Greece is an easy win probably as well. I mean, on paper, England should be walking this group and we should realistically be getting promoted back to League A. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, in Carsley's first game, I think it's going to be a win. Ireland and the Irish are going to be crying a river and we're going to win 3-0. OK, so there are no players to look out for because obviously both us and Ireland played in June and that was like three months ago, if that. Um, but yeah, so we're getting to the predicted lineup. So this is what I think Lee Carsley will go with for today's game against the Republic of Ireland. So in goal, I've gone with Jordan Pickford, um, obviously England's number one. And um, the back four, I've gone with Trent Alexander-Arnold, John Stones, Mark Gaye and Esri Konza. I mean, we don't really have a left back, to be honest. I mean, Konza... I think he, I think he can play left back for England, so I've put him there. And I think Mark Gaye for me should start over Harry Maguire. You know, Man United have had a very poor start to the season, and Mark Gaye, you know, he was England's best player in the Euros. So I think he should start alongside with John Stones. Um, I've gone with a free midfield. I have gone four three three because Lee Carty did play that quite a lot with the under twenty ones, with the under twenty ones, um, and then. So the three midfield have gone with Morgan Gibbs White, Declan Rice, and Ebrich Um I think I think Rice will be in the middle, but obviously he'll be that defensive midfielder, so he'll he'll drop back and help the defence a bit. And I think Gibbs White and Eze will be, you know, the the you know the players they get forward. You know, Gibbs White will shift out to the right, Eze will switch out to the left, 
Um, I think, I think, I think that, I think, I think that system in midfield could work. Rice maybe dropping back. Um, you know, obviously to be, you know, to help that defence. And you know, when either if you know, if you know, if we have a goal kick and we pass it out to you know, to train or someone, Rice can take that free roam, drop in, and and be that passing option. Obviously, Gibbs White and as they can push up again, be that. Um, and have that free roam in the attacking area of the pitch. And then the front three I've gone with, Bakayo Saka on the right, Gordon on the left and Kane up front. Gordon, you know, he didn't really get given a chance um, in the Euros. So I think he'll start today. I don't think Jack Grish really deserves to start, but he'll probably come on though, but I wouldn't start him. And of course, Saka on the right, obviously, it's a bit obvious. And then up front, obviously, Harry Kane. He's already scored a goal already for Bayern Munich this season but uh yeah and as a predicted lineup for today's game just to my view even though it's on the screen i've gone with pickford trent stones gahey Conza, gibbs white rice as a saka kane and gordon anyway guys thank you for watching this video mate um smash like subscribe stay tuned to the vlog yeah i can't speak, God, i cannot speak today stay tuned to the vlog and reaction to the game and let's hope ireland are gonna get battered come on england